and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day. And if you're brand new, then my name is Kate and I make lots of different content, fashion, lifestyle, interiors, mum content and a few reviews hacks all that kind of stuff so i would love for you to come and join us by pressing the subscribe button it's completely free and we would love to have you come and join us over here so today's video is going to be amazon products that tiktok made me buy so i don't know about you but i'm getting a little bit addicted to tiktok and i see lots of things coming up like gadgets and different ideas and i think oh my god i need to try that i need to buy that um, so I've collected quite a few things and I thought it's finally time to do a video. So I'm going to review them, we're going to test them out together, see what we think and rate them out of 10. Before I start I do want to say sorry it's taken me a little while to make a video since my last one. I do want to be much more present here on YouTube this year but there's been a few things going on um, over the last few weeks which have made it a little bit difficult to film and I cannot wait till I can finally tell you what they are um but please stay tuned because as soon as i can i will let you know um but yeah hopefully there'll be lots more fun content coming up this year but i really wanted to get this one filmed for you and i really hope you enjoy it so keep watching let's get into it so i've got this this is the good grips three in one avocado slicer which i was very drawn to because i love avocado um but i can end up using like quite a lot of utensils just to get into and cut up one avocado so this apparently means that you can cut the avocado with this part there's a hole in the back which means you can take out the pit i think it's called or the i call it the avocado nuts <laughs> but i don't think that's what it is um, and then this part you actually slice through the other avocado so we're going to give it a go and we'll see if it works so i'm at a bit of a weird angle but hopefully this is going to work so we're going to cut through it this is quite a nice ripe avocado so it should make the job easier so that sliced through that very very easily quite impressed with that the only thing is this pit is quite small so i don't know how it works because sometimes they take up like the whole avocado and sometimes they're really small so anyway you get this part and you are meant to push it in and twist it oh okay hang on first time doing this it did actually come out that did that was with a little bit of help of me squeezing the avocado i must say um but the little the little blades in there did help to grip hold of it so that was quite good and then this is the part i'm a bit intrigued by because i would then normally scoop this out with a spoon and then cut it into slices but this seems like it might slice it for me or it might just turn it into mush so I'm just going to get a plate. Press the slicer into the avocado to remove the fruit. First of all, did not know this was a fruit, but it does have a seed, so. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on a second. Like that. Oh my God. Hang on a second. Okay, I didn't expect it to do that. Let me just try it one more time. Again, this is a smaller piece. Now I know what I'm doing. And just drag it through, and then you would carry on pushing it through. That was better. In my first impressions of the avocado slicer, I'm actually really impressed. No, this is not the best presentation you'll have ever seen. Um, but the second bit that I did was much better than the first. Um, and every avocado is quite different. Some are firmer and some, this one was pretty ripe. So, I mean, yeah i think that's a really handy gadget it does everything in one it does what it says it's going to do um and i will definitely be using that i'll give that probably i'll give it an eight out of ten with practice it could be a nine but i'm going to go and put this with my lunch now and carry on filming because i don't want to waste this <laughs> the next gadget that i want to test is really really cute and this is <laughs> gracula he cuts up chops up mushes up what do you do crushes that's the word i'm looking for crushes garlic which is quite ironic as vampires hate garlic so this one is a bit of a novelty but it says just with one twist it will crush up your garlic so if it does that then i'm going to be very impressed i'm very intrigued so let's give him a go so this is what he looks like i was expecting to see some metal blades in there but it's actually all plastic so um 
I don't know how well this is going to do, but it's good that it's quite safe. Um, it says to take a clove of garlic. I don't know if you can do more than one at once. It doesn't say to peel it. I have a bit, but who wants to eat garlic skin? I don't know. Let's just see what it does. So you pop it in, in there, and then you twist him like this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm not very hopeful right now. Okay. Ah. Uh, it's kind of all still together because I put it in with the skin on. So let's imagine that it says to peel it and then put it in. So my thoughts on this guy, I don't know. It has done what it said and crushed up the garlic. Um, but I can imagine having a really good garlic press would be a lot easier because you could just put the clove in and then press it and it goes straight into your dinner. But I've never really found one that's very good. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just unlucky with garlic cutting, crushing devices. Um, this one is a bit of a novelty. I could see how it'd be really fun. It would be quite a cute little gift for somebody that loves being in the kitchen. And yeah, it does work. It works, but I'm gonna give it about a six out of 10. I'm a bit underwhelmed, but then I don't really know what I expected it to do. Like make me a full spaghetti bolognese or something. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give him a six, mm, yeah, mm, maybe a seven. I'll give him a seven because he's cute. Do you know what I wish I'd done before starting this? I wish I'd have made it like a guess the gadget video. Um, but I didn't. So anyway, you can guess what you think this is in the comments below. Um, you can pause the video and have a little guess before I tell you. But if you don't want to do that, I'm just going to tell you straight away. This is a soap dispenser, but it's like a hands-free one. Did you hear that? So I've literally just put four AAA batteries in. So there's quite a lot of batteries to work this. And this is obviously the... Um, like the part the batteries go in and then we're going to fill this up with some um antibacterial hand wash this is like a refillable one it looks like a, a shower gel but it's not um we're going to pop that in there and see how well it works apparently this is foaming as well this is a foaming one but i don't know if you need a special kind of soap for that to work so i just thought this was a really great gadget and a great idea especially in the times we're in at the moment, the, the less things you can touch, the better. So when you're washing your hands, you can just put your hands straight under. You don't have to use the pump or touch anything. So let's give it a go. I've realized this is not gonna fill this up, is it? It's actually quite a big pot. Moment of truth. <laughs> oh. Uh, let's give it a few goes because it's only just I've done something wrong. Oh no, no, wait. It just, hang on. I can, it's doing something. Any minute now. Okay, so it's starting to do it, but not really. Maybe it's a specific Maybe it needs kind a bigger of soap. Hand. Go on, you try. Do you think I've put the wrong kind of soap in it? Yeah. Oh. So after going back on Amazon and looking at the um, the product page, which I probably should have done in the first place, I realised that if you're using kind of like dish soap or hand wash, you have to dilute it one part um, hand wash to two parts water. Now, this is actually about half and half because as you remember, I'd filled it up too much, but it is starting to work. And I get, I think if it was um, even more diluted, it would be more like foam. But what you can also buy is proper foaming soap to go in it, which will just be the perfect consistency. So you could always do that. Um, yeah, my initial thoughts are, it could be a really good way of getting your kids to want to wash their hands because sometimes mine don't want to wash their hands, which is really frustrating because they need to wash them. This is fun. So it could mean that they actually want to wash their hands, although it could backfire on you and they just keep doing this constantly and then you get soap everywhere. I mean, I like it, but I can also, I don't know, I like the aspect that you don't have to touch the soap, even though I'm holding it right now. But you get what I'm saying, you can just go like that and it isn't really working, but I think if it was a thinner consistency, it would work. I don't know. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. 
it's a good idea and I'm sure you can get ones that work really well. So the general concept of them is very good. This is one on Amazon by the brand Simple Human, but it's 70 pounds, but it's brass and it just looks really smart. So if you're really into it, then you could like splash out on something that looked really nice on your side like that. And obviously it's like hands free as well. Next up is this little cute thing. Looks like a little purse. I actually had a purse like this and Mulberry did loads of bags like this back in the day called the cookie bags and purses. And I was obsessed. So since then I've loved a scalloped detail. But this is actually a hand gel, hand sanitizer key ring, which I thought was really, really cute. I'm not gonna show you how it works. It's very self-explanatory, but basically it comes with this little pot. It doesn't come with the hand sanitizer, but I'm sure we've all got it in our homes right now. And then you just put it in there then you pop that in there. You could attach this to your keys or your bag. Um, I accidentally ordered 12 of these. So when if you go and have a look on there, I'll link everything below. Make sure if you want one, you're just ordering one instead of like a pack. You can get all different colours. They're really handy. Perfect for, again, what's going on at the moment. Although I'm not really leaving the house. So at the moment, I'm not using it that much. But when we are again... I think this is a really good idea and keeps it really handy. So I wish I'd done Guess the Gadget. That would have been such a good game. Um, this is a bit of a random one, but I wanted to give it a go. It's a packet resealer. The first thing that I saw when I got it is it has a blade that comes up, which is actually quite scary. So this is something that you definitely need to store away from children. Um, so it has a blade, which I assume is good for cutting things. Maybe it's even a good like box cutter and package cutter. I don't really know. But I think the gadget is mainly intended for food items. So you lift it up like that and then you slide. I had to Google how to do this as well. Then you slide that back to reveal a sort of heater. I described it as a heater. And then you go like that. I've had to put batteries in this as well. It took two AA batteries. And then you wait for these to heat up. Don't touch that bit. I did. It's hot. I feel like packets of crisps would be the perfect thing to use this for. Maybe not this size because most people will eat these in one go. Although sometimes my kids don't. So maybe that would be a good idea for kids. Um, but big packets of crisps and anything else um, that's maybe plasticky that you want to seal up. And run it along the edge packet okay <laughs> oh hold up <laughs> I thought that was gonna be really good then maybe I need to go over it one more time okay so I just did that quickly off camera because sometimes when you're trying to do something and film it doesn't work as well as if you were just normally doing it so after running it across it a few times it has actually sealed the packet so it does what it says it's going to do. Um, I can smell a slight burning smell, but I like the fact that it's sealing it with heat and not with like some kind of glue or something. That would be a bit weird. So it does work. As for how much you would use that, I don't know. Would you be sitting there watching a movie, finish your crisps, and think, oh, I'm now going to go into the kitchen and seal the packet up? I don't know. You'd probably just roll it, like tuck it in or put a clip or a peg on it or something but I think if you had maybe packets of pasta or things that you wanted to just keep fresh in your cupboard for longer this would be really handy to pull out and you would use it like, I think I would use it I'm gonna give this a seven because I like it I really like the color I'm a sucker for pink gadgets um, and it's handy it's multi-purpose it did what it said it was gonna do once I actually did it properly and it works so next up I have this which is a rechargeable lighter. I've never really heard of these before and I was a bit skeptical. I've just charged it. Like being able to charge something that lights a candle from my computer feels a bit strange. But anyway, I just charged it with a USB plug in my laptop and you turn it on. I'm a bit scared. Oh my God. It's like a taser. Hang on a second. Bloody hell. Is that dangerous? Would that electrocute you? I don't know what I was thinking, that it would light up with a flame. I guess so. The reason I got it anyway was because we are always running out of like lighters and things. So I thought to be able to have one that you can just always have charged is really good. Um, 
and it's mainly for lighting candles so I like the fact that it's quite long um, whereas matches can be really short and like a little clicky lighter is really small so this is really good if you want to get like into a candle that's burnt out quite a lot I've just got this one here called Calming Waves which smells beautiful and I'm gonna see if it works or if it just kind of like blows up the candle <laughs> makes such a horrible noise as well That works. I mean, it works perfectly. So in terms of that, I would give it like a 10 out of 10. But I might give it a 9 out of 10 because I'm a bit scared that I may accidentally electrocute myself. Then I found this little gadget, which again is more for travel and going out, which I know we're not doing right now. But one day soon, guys, we'll be able to use things just like this and we will not take it for granted like we used to. This is a little pack of reusable silicone straws. There's actually two in there, which I thought was very clever. You just pull them out. <laughs> of course they're pink. No, there's not two in there. I'm lying. There's one in there. Shut up. There's one. Actually, what I'm thinking is it came with a pack of two. It came with another one of these with a green straw in it, like a mint green. So I think you do get two, like two full sets. So you could just put this in your bag or hanging off a key ring. It folds up, um, so it's really easy to put in your bag. You don't have to use a plastic straw when you're out and about, and you also don't have to carry around um, like a metal or a glass straw, which if you've got a small bag isn't going to fit. And then in there as well, which I thought was so cute and clever, is a little um, cleaner. So yeah, when you want to clean it, obviously when you get home, you can just pop that in give it a rinse, make sure it's all clean all the way through and put it back in there for when you go out again. So it all just folds down, really easy to do. Again, I saw it on TikTok, bought it. It was very much influenced by TikTok. <laughs> okay, so then we have this, which again, I saw on TikTok, someone using, I thought it looked really, really good. This is actually a tripod. So for anyone that likes taking photos or making videos, this could be really useful, especially if you um, don't have anyone to help you sometimes. So you pull this out. I should say this is specifically for filming on a phone, not so much an actual camera because you have this part where you put your phone into. Um, so that moves in a second. But so you pull this out, it's like a tele telescopic tripod. And then when you pull it, these legs are meant to kind of pop out. They're not. There we go. So you pull that and then the legs pop out. So it's just quite a basic, quite thin and lightweight tripod. It's not going to take anything heavy. Um, the most it's going to hold, like I said, is a phone. It will hold it both ways. Um, and really good if you want to, for example, take a selfie. Because in the tripod itself here is a little um, remote. So it's like a clicker. So it links to your phone through Bluetooth. Again, it has a little hole in the bottom so you can charge it by USB. Um, and then you can just hold this in your hand once it's connected to your phone and take photos, which is really, really cool. I really like it. I think it's a really good, useful gadget. Like I said, especially if you like making videos, taking photos, making your own TikToks or YouTube videos, stuff like that. And um, I just like the fact that it does go down into this really small little tripod um the last bit can be a little bit fiddly to make it go down but once you've done it all it's just really small and compact when you have a lot of um filming equipment like this big tripod i'm filming on at the moment and lights and everything it can take up a lot of room so to have something like this is really handy especially if you want to go out and about filming or taking videos you could put this in your bag so it's a really useful gadget and i would give this uh, an 8 out of 10 because the only thing is it's quite flimsy it's not the most sturdy of tripods but then it wouldn't be because of the size so depending on what you're looking for this could be a really really good option also for any girl bosses watching or anyone with their own business um, or that just wants to organize something really I found these so first of all I was looking for somewhere to keep all of my receipts separated by month and I initially saw this when I typed in something along those lines into Amazon. Um, and this is a wallet, I believe, has it got 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's so like 12, 13 pockets in it. So you could just label them and it comes with these rainbow labels. Um, just label them with every month of the year and then just put all of your receipts in. That's perfectly 
good enough like it's quite basic but it would keep everything very organized you would know exactly where everything is by a month um, but then I saw this and it was pink and I just thought that's so cute it's like a Filofax looking document wallet so you just open it up and instead of your usual kind of file pages um, it has plastic ziplock wallets again it has 12 and they're on a little ring binder so you can take them on and off you can fill your receipts up I feel like these this would hold more than that little thing that I just showed you um, you could also add in paper into here like little file of facts type paper sheets for notes um, it has a place for a pen it has places for extra things in the back and I just thought it was really cute and in the front as well um, so yeah it wasn't very expensive but I just thought that would really encourage me to keep everything nice and organised and then it would look nice in my office as well so I do like things that are aesthetically pleasing but just for the basic need of organising this would work really well too but it is quite a bit smaller well not that much smaller actually but this would hold more so it's actually more useful so I'd give this like a 10 out of 10 and this like a 9 out of 10 but next up I have some kind of like health and well-being things so I've wanted to switch to these for a little while because to help the planet I know I'm just one person but if everyone made little changes then it would add up to a lot and these are oh my gosh this is a new box. These are bamboo face um, face pads, so you can use it to take the makeup off. So they come in this really lovely little drawstring bag, which also doubles up as the bag to wash them in, so you don't lose them in the wash. You get loads, you get three different sizes, um, really good for like your eye area and then your face, whatever you want to use them for. There's quite a lot in there. It comes with this little bamboo makeup headband as well so it's really good so the other box i've completely used and these are all new so when they get like really worn and i feel like they've been washed too many times i will use these obviously um but yeah i just thought that was a nice little switch from using the disposable ones every single day and they feel really nice on your skin as well i feel like they're slightly more abrasive than the cotton rounds that i would normally use so that is a bit of a drawback, but only very slightly. There's only, like, you can only feel it very slightly. So I think they're really good and I'd give them a nine out of 10. This is a new bottle because I wanted to get something that was gonna encourage me to drink more water. I'm really bad at drinking water. I've said it before. I really like sparkling water. So it will probably get filled up with that because I'm much more likely to drink it. But this is a hydrocy bottle in the rose gold color. And the reason I went for this one is because, oh, it comes with a cute little pouch that I'll probably never use, but it does come with it. Um, again, I like the colour, <laughs> it's pink, um, but it has the hours of the day on it. You can fill it up and it basically helps to remind you what to drink. So you need to drink down to here, like finish the bottle by 12pm, and then you fill it up again, and then you drink it all again till 6, so two of these a day and you drink this much sort of in an hour i think it's a really lovely design you just pull this down and then you press it and it pops open so yeah now that i've shown you guys i can't really say how good it is because i've just got it out of the box so i haven't used it yet but i mean it's a water bottle it's going to be i feel like it's going to be a good water bottle you know and it's bpa free as well next up i wanted to show you these which are ziplock wallets I've seen these quite a lot on TikTok, people getting their kids toys and puzzles organised and it really inspired me. I think I've seen this, you know, for years on Pinterest and stuff. I've never really done it, but I just, I was kind of attracted to all the different coloured pouches. Like this is just a few of them, they come in all rainbow colours and I just thought, I really want to do this. So I spent a day, a day, organising all of the kids puzzles and games that would fit into these. Um, it took me ages and it was really tedious, but after I'd done it, I was actually really proud. And it meant that they will play with the things more now because they're much more easily accessible. And I've got rid of all the puzzles that have had one or two or five pieces missing for years. So I've streamlined everything down. I'll show you some pictures now. We used to have boxes and boxes of toys and games and now they're all streamlined into these little bags. I love it. Basically what I've done with all of the boxes, I cut out the front so that we know what the game or puzzle is. Um, and also if it is a game, if there's any instructions or anything like that, I've popped them in there. As well as, for example, if it's a game that has pieces and dice 
and cards they've all gone in as well and these are the a4 you can also get a5 which are half the size and you can get like a3 which are really big which you could store kind of like all of monopoly games and really big games but i thought i would leave all of those in the boxes because there are some games which just need to be kept in a box and they're, they're quite organised, like there's places for all the money and stuff to go, so I thought, no, I'll leave all those kind of games in there. But for puzzles, orchard toys games, lots of different things, these are perfect. And they come in packs of, I've seen them in packs of 10, packs of 12, packs of 24, and they usually work out to be less than a pound each. So I think they're really affordable and I would give them a 10 out of 10. And then I have this <laughs> it looks a bit scary doesn't it do you know what this is i'll tell you it's not scary at all it is a cake slicer so here is a beautiful freshly baked uh, cake that i just made straight from the oven um, and we're gonna slice it and see if it works I'm such a good baker let's just do it Hold up. Hello. And then you can pick it up as well. Hang on a second. And then you just pop that. Oh, I like that. That's good. That's nice. Let's, but then you get... Mm, but then you get to that piece. Okay. I am, we are all going to eat this for pudding, by the way. I'm not just cutting up a cake and wasting it. So that's that piece. So two, two slices. And then you're starting to get a weird shaped cake. Am I meant to... Oh, hold up. I'm meant to turn it, I think. <coughs> okay, three. Oh, no. Someone has a moon cake. <laughs> oh, God. Um, stop being so good at everything, Kate, honestly. Oh. <laughs> what, what did I do wrong? What did I do so wrong? Okay. Um, there we go. Okay, thoughts. That first piece of cake I cut, I thought this was going to be the best thing I've ever bought in my life. But then I quickly realised that that shape does not cut a cake evenly and I went back onto Amazon to check that I wasn't being completely stupid and most of the other reviews were people saying the same thing like it cut that really well but it doesn't cut even slices which is a shame because then you have weird slices like this I love the fact that you can cut it and then kind of pinch it a bit and then put it onto someone's plate because you're not having to touch their cake that's nice so I don't know if you can get maybe triangular cutters exactly like this, but in like a triangle shape, which would cut all of the slices evenly. I'm going to have a look into that, but oh, I don't know what to say about this one. I have to give it a five because it didn't cut the cake in shapes that you would give to somebody. Like if it was a birthday, you're not going to give them that, that one or this thing. But it does cut it, and I like the overall idea, just not the execution of the idea, you know? So there we go, thank you so much for joining me in this Amazon products TikTok made me buy it video. I really enjoyed doing that, I'd love to do another video like this if you'd like to see it. Um, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you would. We tried some really good things, there are some things that I think are genius ideas and others which weren't as good. Um, but hopefully you had as much fun watching it as I did making it. Um, I'm off to eat some cake now. Have a lovely day. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for lots more fun videos. And I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.